YouTube family, here we are once again with another Instagram content video for you. And this one is a tutorial on how I make photos like this one. Obviously I had to edit this, but there's a certain way you do it so it looks seamless and clean and it shouldn't take you over 30 minutes to an hour. Um, Welcome back to my channel, y'all. If it's your first time here, my name is Devin on Deck, and you are tuned into my series, Devin on Tech, where I teach you how to create better content, be more successful in social media, and present yourself better online. The other side of my channel, I teach you how to present yourself better in real life. Everything from how to dress better, smell better, and have more confidence. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, and you get a notification every time. I drop a video. Okay, so to get this photo right, you'll need four things. One is a camera. You can even use your phone if you want to. Two is a tripod to hold that camera. And three is a computer with Photoshop on it. And number four is optional, someone to take the photo for you. If you don't have anybody, you can use a timer or a remote for your camera. Now once you begin shooting, you wanna first take one photo of the environment, whatever your backdrop is. And then after, you get in the frame and you do your thing. Now, the trick to looking like you're floating is to jump and not look super stiff. You don't want to be really rigid in the air. You want to actually try to jump and relax as much as possible. Jump and relax. I know it's tough. It takes practice. So if that's tough for you, you want to sit on something or lean on something that can actually support your weight, like a chair or in this photo. Obviously, you see I'm using an apple box and that's also another way to get a float effect and kind of relax your body in a different way. But it still takes work, it takes a lot of core, but those are the two ways you can make it happen. Now, once you're done shooting and you found a couple poses that you like. Now it's time to take it over to Photoshop and I'm gonna show you how you can make this happen in like 15 minutes. All right, so right now in Photoshop, you should have the photo of you jumping, then your background photo, okay? Have those two open first. And literally all you're gonna do is go to this photo and start using the pen tool to cut yourself out. So the pen tool, you can hit P on your keyboard or go over here and it's located right there, bam. And I'm gonna zoom in. And literally what you're gonna do is trace yourself with the pen tool. When it comes to the pen tool, you really wanna take your time to make sure you get all the edges properly. You do not wanna mess this part up because it's very important that you cut out yourself accurately because you will see it in the photo later. So now that I have everything basically traced, now I wanna go back and check my work just to make sure that everything is super accurate. Make sure I add a couple points if I need to, just to make sure my edges are as close to perfect as possible. Boom, so when you back up, it should look like this, a whole bunch of crazy dots around your body. And then what you wanna do is right click this, click make selection, and then you wanna put your feather radius between, I wanna say 1.5 and maybe two. So let's do like 1.7 just to be safe. Enter, and now you have these tiny ants kind of crawling around your body, okay? So now what you wanna do is hit the L key on your keyboard. That'll give you the lasso tool right here. And then you wanna right click and then put layer via cut. So now what it's doing is literally cutting out where your body was. And you can literally take this layer, right click it, click duplicate layer, and you wanna take it over to the other document. And this is my float edit thing right here, the other one. When I go over here, now my cutout body is now in the photo. And that's really it. So now all you gotta do is resize it to whatever you like, whatever your preference is. Obviously you wanna make it look realistic to the actual scale of the photo and you can move your body wherever you want. You can be way up here if you want to, down here. In order to drag it around, make sure you are using this move tool right here. Okay, that is the V on your keyboard or click it up here and you can move yourself around wherever you want to, okay? Another way you can do this, Let's go back to the other document. Literally take this after you cut it out. You can put Command A, Command C to copy, move over, Command V to paste. Whichever one works for you. Either way, just get that over there and then scale your body to the size you need it to be. And what I'll probably do is make this background a little more symmetrical, like move the buildings around or something. But I'm definitely gonna add some type of reflection in the water because obviously it's over water. But besides that, that's about it, y'all. So there you go. Have fun with this tutorial. That is it for this part. So there you have it. Now your floating photo is ready to be saved and put into your favorite editing program to then change the colors exactly like you want to. Now you know that I use Lightroom personally if you've been sub to this channel for a while and it gets my photos from looking like this to looking like this. 
Now, if you want to know exactly the steps I take to edit my photos, I'll have a little card slide on right here. Go ahead and tap it. It'll take you to a new video. If you enjoyed this one, though, give your guy a thumbs up. It really does help my channel out a lot. If you haven't subbed yet, make that happen. Any questions, concerns, feedback, leave them in the comments. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for your time, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.